This is the ring terminal and these are spade terminals of different sizes for different size wires and these are hook terminals. These are some different types of electrical connectors or terminals. Uh, this is a terminal strip and you can see the different colors uh, there for different size wires. Uh, the red is uh, for the smaller size 18 to 22 gauge and the blue is for 14 to 16 gauge and the yellow will fit uh, 10 to 12 gauge wires and you simply crimp them on to your wire and uh, this type will slide right onto the terminal and provide a fairly good connection the hook gives you a little bit more strength and the ring gives you uh, the most uh, stable connection these are wire nuts or twist on wire connectors and they come in a different range of sizes and colors uh, the colors are color coded for the different gauges of wire. So uh, in order to use these you simply uh, remove some insulation from your wires. This is 10 gauge wire and so I would just select the appropriate wire nut in this case a, a red or yellow and it makes a, a great uh, temporary connection or uh, semi-permanent connection. These are ring terminals and they're used to make a very strong connection between your wire and a screw or a terminal post like this. They come in different sizes and the smaller ones are for 10 to 12 gauge and these go all the way up to 4 and 8 gauge. So to use these you simply select the appropriate size that fits your screw or post, in this case a 3 16 hole and I'm going to use a 10 gauge wire and so you simply strip off a short section of that with the wire stripper slide the terminal over the end of the wire and crimp it The great thing about these is if you have a lot of vibration in your project, if the screw comes loose, the connection won't fail and it'll stay attached. These are also uh, ring terminals and uh, they're typically brass or copper and have different size diameters for mounting to studs or bolts. Uh, you can see the, the gauge is imprinted on top. This is a 4 gauge which goes with the 4 gauge wire. This is an 8 gauge and I crimped this one on. Uh, for a 4 gauge I would typically solder this connection and use a piece of heat shrink tubing to finalize that connection. So here is that finished soldered connection. This is a 4 gauge terminal, a ring terminal connected to a 4 gauge wire. These are known as quick disconnect terminals and they come in different colors for the different size wires. You would simply uh, attach the wire by crimping and they come in a male and a female and allow for a very quick connection or disconnection and come in a variety of different sizes and uh, the color denotes a different wire size. Uh, these down here are non-insulated and typically crimp on. Uh, these are insulated you often see them in the application where you slide on a fast-on terminal on a battery. To use these connectors you simply strip off a small section of insulation from your wire and using the crimping tool you attach the appropriate connector, in this case a 16 gauge, slide it over the top and crimp. These are butt splices or uh, snap plugs and they come in a variety of different sizes for different size wires. You can see this is a very large one for 4 gauge and this is for 10 to 12 gauge. They typically have a, a male and a female component and snap apart. This one is a, a waterproof variety and quickly snap back together. To use these you would simply crimp them on and all you have to do is choose the appropriate color and gauge for your wire in this case 16 gauge strip off some insulation and using the crimping tool crimp it 
This is another type of crimp on wire connector. It's more of a permanent connection. And to use it you simply strip off some insulation from your wires, twist it and slide it on. And again using the crimping tool, secure it and make sure it doesn't come off.